Welcome to the ship tour of Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas. Royal Caribbean has some of the largest ships in the cruise industry, so this will be a treat to see. We will start on the lowest deck and work our way up deck three. Here you will find the conference center where there are several conference rooms for any company meetings or events you may be having. If you don't know, if you bring a large group on the ship, you can possibly rent out places like this or some of the actual event centers on board the ship. Deck three will also have one of the main dining rooms, but you can't access it from deck three, so we'll kind of go over that here in a moment. We will head up to deck four next. At the forward of the ship, you will have the Amber Theater. This actually spans deck three, four, and five, but does not have an exit on deck three. We want to access it from deck four and five. Just outside, you have the entrance to the Smoke Free Casino. It is a smaller casino, but if you don't want to smell smoke or be around smoke and still be at the casino, this is where you will go. Next up, if you love to laugh, you will have the Comedy Live, where all the comedy shows will be at. You have the Blaze, which is the nightclub board Royal Caribbean. Studio B is the next stop, and I told you these ships are huge. I mean, look at this, there is a whole skating rink in here. You can see ice skating shows here. You can even go ice skating yourself at designated times. So this is definitely a place you have to visit. Or if you want places to cool down a little bit. Around the corner of the entrance to the Casino Royale, this is actually a long hallway here. At the end of it, you will find a massive casino area. You have tons of slot machines, card games, etc. The casino on this ship is larger than casinos on most other ships. It is a sight to see. Izumi is World Caribbean's Japanese restaurant, so check this out. In the very back of the ship is the main dining room, which spans deck three and four. Deck five, starting at the front of the ship, hitting my way to the back, is the promenade shopping area. It also hosts other areas like the only air club, aka the Kayoki Bar, a bar and nightclub. Cafe Promenade for a quick bite to eat. Sorrento's Pizzas, arguably one of the best pizzas at sea. The next cruise area, so you plan your next Royal Caribbean cruise. Guest Services is where you go if you have any issues on the cruise. And the Rising Tide Bar. This is a bar that goes from deck five to up to deck six. It's basically a big elevator at a bar area. So if you wanna to go to deck five to eight or vice versa, and you wanna drink, you may consider taking this to get a fuller floor. Deck six midship, you have a beautiful view. This is the home of the shore excursion desk to plan your next trip ashore. The loyalty deck for all your loyalty royals. Shooting a bar for a quick drink. Down this area, you will find tons of venues. Boardhog Doghouse for a wide variety of, well, hot dogs, of course. The Donuts Boardwalk for those delicious donuts. And the carousels, every little kid's dream. I know my two kids love these. Cups and scoops ice cream, because I mean, it's not a cruise without some ice cream. Candy Beach, we have tons of variety of candy. Star Pier, Savoy American Restaurant, it's a great place to have some quesadillas and margaritas. And of course, famous Johnny Rockets. And one of the coolest parts of the ship right here is the Aqua Theater, which amazing shows take place involving water and acrobatics. As you can see how high these pillars go, and yes, people do jump off of those. So it makes it for amazing shows. And of course, if you see on the side here, you will see a rock climbing area. So yes, you could actually rock climb all the way up that. Take it forward, you still have some rooms. The end Central Park, and this place actually feels truly like a resort. This area has real plants. So these are real trees, real flowers, etc. Makes you feel like you're on land, but you're actually not. You have a lot of natural sunlight, which is very nice. They have several bar areas. It's great just for a stroll around here. It's beautiful. You have the Park Cafe. Giovanni's Italian Restaurant. Chops Grill. 150 Central Park. And these are your two steakhouses. And the end, you have the Dazzles, which is a dance and bar area. Deck 14, you have the children's clubs. This is where you can drop with the kids for them to have a good time. They have tons of parties and activities for a variety of ages. And all the staff here have degrees in education, not just training, but also actual degrees in children as well. This area holds a lot of things for the kids. They even have a movie theater for the kids. A volcano room where they can make volcanoes and another variety of science experiments. So very interactive and engaging. The Voyager room is from 9 to 11 years olds. Aquanauts are for 3 to 5. Explorers are for 6 to 8. 
then you have the nursery for the little kids. The rest of this deck is just rooms. Deck 15 aft is where you'll find the sports courts, teen clubs, and just outside midship you'll find a variety of pools all over this place. And they do have lifeguards on duty most of the time, which is a great place for the kids to play. In the front of the ship you will find a solarium area. This is a peaceful area to relax with tons of chairs and whirlpool areas. Deck 16 is a solarium area bar. And the very back of the ship is a windjammer. This is where the buffet area is at for a quick bite to eat. And of course the flow rider where you could surf on the ship. On deck 17 you have this sweet lounge exclusive relaxation area for the suite members on the cruise. If you like seeing ship tour videos or another ship you want to take a look at, check out my ship tour list. Because I have ships from Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Margarita of Sea, Virgin Voyages, and Princess here. And with more to come. So I will see y'all next time.